Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the Anzu Fati to review. Uh, we're taking a look at a card who is 5 foot 10, high medium work rates, right footed, 4 star skills, 4 star weak foot. So obviously already good stuff there. In game player traits, he has injury prone trait, speed dribbler traits, as well as the outside foot shot trait. Um, even if they nerf the outside foot shot trait, it's still going to be very nice to work with when it comes to those like consistent strikes inside the 18 yard box. So yeah. In-game attributes. Okay, so this card... Shoe shot power is at an 82. Okay, what does a marksman do to this guy? Let's see. So a marksman gives him the dribbling boost. It gives him the shooting boost. A little bit of the physical. Okay. And then the hawk would give him a better shooting boost with a higher shot power, and then you would just use the dribbling as it is. Base card stats for physical will be improved. Not super relevant for this card to improve that, to be honest. What about a dead eye on him? Because a dead eye massively improves the shooting capabilities of the card, right? While giving him a passing boost too. And then you would just work with the dribbling as it is with the dribbling capabilities of the card with a unique body type, right? So a dead eye doesn't look bad because I, I really like to work with higher finishing capabilities while working with good passing as well because that means i could pretty much rotate this uh, this card into any of the attacking positions because it is nice to have passing stats in fifa nowadays right so um yeah he is mostly an explosive player for pretty much every single part of the card um now whether you like controlled or explosive is completely down to the person right because control is not bad whatsoever you know we used falcao in the pass on the finisher and he was great um but yeah, a dead eye looks like a flex ram. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Definitely looks like a flex. Base card sets for paces is, is set up in a good area. Uh, a dead eye would massively improve the shooting capabilities of the card, which would definitely be a huge plus. Passing would also be massively increased too, with a 98 for short passing. Uh, dribbling, I do want to experiment with that in game in regards to responsiveness because it doesn't look like it's in a terrible area because it really depends on what the unique body type is like in game, right? Uh, when it comes to heading accuracy, he doesn't really have much. And then he does have 85 for stamina to pretty much use him in any of the attacking areas. So him being a striker center forward for chemistry links um, is not bad to work with. So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and unlock the SBC and I'll show you guys how we line them up in game. So I think with the chemistry style, guys, it might be like a difference of depending on where you're actually going to use him, right? So having pace in general is always nice to have regardless of whatever, right? So We'll try them out with the Hawk chemistry style first, see what it's like, because honestly, the shooting stats of the card is still in a pretty decent area um, while giving him extra pace, right? So yeah, we're gonna be trying that out. But in-game guys, we'll be lined up like this, right? We'll try out the 4-2-3-1, play him up top in the striker position. Uh, this one is only stay central. And then we also did not mean to back out twice. Sorry, I thought there was music playing because my settings always reset, you know, you guys know how it works. Um, yeah, we're going to have Anzu Fati playing in striker for the 4-3-2-1 that we also reviewed recently as well. So, um, yeah, we'll try it out. Try to use the, the left stick a little bit right there, like some responsiveness. Let me get it off, though. Yeah, I just had to make the extra pass there. I think they start using, like, when you see them, like, constantly moving in one direction, I feel like that's just them using manual goalkeeping at some point. Ah, oh, I should have made that pass. Oh, that shot should have been better. I feel like it should have been better on his weak foot, too. No time finishing, but, you know. Even still, I think. Oh, man. I saw him in a good position, so I was like, if I can get this driven past him, I'm good. Oh, they're staying with the save there. Yeah, good. 45 degree angle. 
I like to try all those angles, see if they can actually still score them. On his strong foot, he still does well. Nice. Very nice. I'll take that finish on his, on his uh, weak foot. Mm. If you actually watch my controller, there was one left stick touch that I was trying to do there that didn't come off. If it did, it would have been sick. Nice. There you go. Go on, Zoof. Oh, I tried to do that. I was trying to do a FIFA 20, 22 goal right there. <laughs> oh, get the gem. You got the gem. You got the gem. He's injured. Oh, take that out of the game, EA. Yeah, so see, I'm trying to test out like the responsive left stick of the card to like go backwards, forwards, right? Like sometimes it doesn't do it. There's like a limitation to it. Nice. Good finish. Good finish. That one he was able to do like small little intricate touches. I mean, there is that mechanic in the game where if you uh, touch the ball and you tap R1, they do the quick cuts, you know, but. Ah, I want to get that small dri dribble there and then go for like the uh, roulette right after. Uh, I see. This is this is. Uh, uh, hmm. I have no words. That logic doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I'm just gonna tell you right now. The meta. The meta. And then I gotta give an injury card. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We need the fodder in the packs. We got it. We got it. Hey, that's still a regular finesse on a white. I'm just letting you know, okay? That's still a regular finesse. Yeah, that was good. That was good, that was good. When you get into those positions, they don't really... They're not going to get through on goal, right? So you do have to do a skill to kind of get past people a certain way. Nice try. I, I like to try the rough angles, you know? <laughs> I don't have the right angle for the outside foot shot there, but we try it. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> that alone, if I'm playing him in the middle, dead eye chemistry style, like literally like. <laughs> I don't even know where the ball was there. I had no idea. The crossbar. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes you do the skill move and they don't do the challenge from behind, right? You gotta test it out sometimes. Oh, 
Oh, the other guy was there still. Unlucky. On the spot shot. Mm, I got the green time, just couldn't get it off. There we go. We'll take the jam there. We'll take the jam. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the Anzu Fati card. So guys, listen, um, we gave him the Hawk chemistry style to try out the card, you know, boost the pace, shooting and physicality of the card uh, as much as possible. I really feel like depending on where you're going to be using this card in game is really going to signify um what chemistry style you use him and obviously your play style as well because he's an explosive player regardless right so um if you give him the hawk chemistry style to boost the pace shooting and physicality wouldn't be a bad choice but it also wouldn't be a bad choice to improve his passing capabilities as well as his shooting to be essentially maxed out uh to be able to utilize the shooting capabilities that the card could have right because obviously on the hawk you don't boost it to be as high as possible so there's certain opportunities where you know it could be nice to have the extra shooting stat which is where you know if i'm using him in the striker position i don't mind not having crazy pace there so having a dead eye chemistry style would be pretty sick to work with right because a dead eye guys also boost the attacking positioning out of the card, right? So uh, just food for thought, right? Because if you're using him in the side position, sometimes having that little bit of extra pace uh, is nice to work with while being able to shoot and have a little bit of extra physical, but you're not going to notice the physical out of the card, right? So it's just something that you have to take into consideration with him. Now, when it comes to the left stick of this card in regards to responsiveness, yes, don't expect him to move like a Bernardo Silva or anything like that when it comes to the dribbling, but he's not going to be that type of card. Um, so the left stick sometimes is a tiny bit off, but if you time that little R1 tap dribble uh, properly, then you'll be able to utilize it regardless. Like in previous years, I always found Anzu Fati to be more of a generic card. This year, he's way more usable because of the way that the game mechanics have changed, right? This FIFA is definitely a very different FIFA in regards to like the other FIFAs because the dribbling is a little bit different. The way the attacking guy is a little bit different. So you can actually utilize it in game, but I'm just saying that you do notice it being a little bit weird from time to time. Um, as an SBC, um, in my opinion, I do feel like it is overpriced for what he offers in game, right? I do feel like he's overpriced, but overpriced does not mean that he's bad, okay? It's one of those types of SBCs where, you know, if you want to get those links with the Barcelona Spanish players, Liga Santander as well, uh, then he's going to be a very cool card to work with because, like I said, I do feel like he's way more usable in this year's game than he has been in previous versions, right? 100%. But... I do feel like they put the SBC price a little bit up there. This SBC is available uh, all the way until the 22nd. So it's out for, what is that, like two weeks and a half, which honestly is not, it's not that bad, right? And it really depends on which types of upgrade SBCs they release, right? So like I said, it, it's one of those types of cards where, if listen, if it was my case and he was Portuguese, 300K, I couldn't care less, I'm still doing it because the card can still play in the meta of this gameplay really well. You guys can see that in certain cases, you know, his shooting still came off great. He's still got to work high percentage strikes as much as possible, of course, but he just doesn't feel like a crazy special card. Like you guys know that when I reviewed this Chiesa card, right? I found his value at 140K awesome for what he offered in game, right? Like you guys know, I told you that SBC, this is like a, this is an SBC that if you guys wanted to do it, Huge thumbs up for me, right? I don't feel the same way about the Anzu Fati card for the price value of the SBC, right? But if he's playing in your main attacking positions, like I said, compared to previous years, Anzu Fati does feel better this year, right? Not crazy special, but he does feel better to use in the meta of this gameplay. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.